Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day. Had a great, wonderful day. Today, we're going to use on a, get on a mill. I'm using a cedar log because somebody over here is getting excited about the project that she wanted to do a year I ago. Know, last year. <laughs> but you know how things go. So I'm, I'm going to use cedar for this project because it's going to be outside. I figure the cedar, the cedar would probably weather better, you know, to hold up against, say, if there's a lot of water going on it. Uh, I figure if I get some nice planks, probably, I'm thinking three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, just for the encasements, and then we kind of seal it a little bit. It should hopefully last a really good long time for, say, like I said, if water was getting onto it a lot it was sitting outside in the w normal natural weather so so let me tell you what the project is because <laughs> he's just beating around the bush he's keeping y'all in suspense am i no I'm not. <laughs> last year we had talked about a surprise project we were going to do it, it didn't happen life Sorry. happens yeah a, a lot has happened in that time when we've had to take a bunch of trips and it just but it was also good because what we thought about putting it isn't would not turn out to be a good spot for it now so right. i think we found a better spot to put it things happen for a reason right i did that on purpose <laughs> i don't think he did it on purpose but so glad he did this is our outdoor shower I have been wanting our outdoor shower for, well, since we moved to this property. It's, we're in the Carolinas, it's hot and working outside in this heat, especially like today where it rained yesterday, so it's humid today. The outdoor shower would be great. We want to put it somewhere will be useful. We thought about putting it near the garden originally. Well, now we're not sure where we're putting the garden, yeah. but what we are, we're going to put it close to another project another project we will keep you in suspense for that one I'll keep you in suspense for that because i'd like to have the project already started but there's also a thousand other projects that got to get done this other project we want to do it's necessary it's a necessary thing that we would like to have <laughs> but you know it's all about time and trying to get things done and since we already have about mm, how many 56 projects probably going right now. 57. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> we have a lot going on. We try to bring you along with us as often as we can to show you the, the little things we're doing. Sometimes it might just be clearing land, which that's a video coming up. But today we want to get this wood milled so we can start our outdoor shower because I will have an outdoor shower before this summer is over. It's going to be an interesting design. We're going to keep you in suspense for that one when we actually go to start the build. I'm very, very excited. This is the first step, is getting the wood milled, so that's what we're going to do for you today. All right. And then, yes, and what she doesn't know yet is it's only going to be a shower when it's raining outside. So I'm not going to put water to it in it. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs>
Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, gorgeous. Man. Well, it really is. Out of that log, I was able to get six three quarter inch, roughly. You know, now that Shauna got her planer for her birthday that she wanted so bad, <laughs> I can plane them down a little bit better. We can kind of probably put a sealer on it. And I'm thinking when I put this flooring down, I got an idea for it to be oh, no. pretty nice. But I'm almost thinking, because I got these, after I probably, I might trim them up a little bit. These six boards might be enough width because they're, they're roughly seven and seven eighths, you know, we'll just say seven and three quarter. Trim them down a little bit, make about a seven inch board across. So six times seven, that's 42 inches. Put a little gap in between there. You almost got about four foot worth of flooring. Flooring and 10 foot long, because these are, I was, if you probably noticed, don't know if you saw it or not, maybe trying to kind of edit it out, because I was squeezing this on here. I probably, instead of taking my little reciprocating saw to kind of cut that little edge off, it was kind of poking out from when the tree fell over. It cut from start to finish, you're good. But I squeezed out the 10 foot, six inches on this thing. <laughs> but it made it. It's, they're, you know, Ten and a half, so I can cut it down to ten inches, or excuse me, feet. Cause ten inches that'd be kind of short, wouldn't it? Ten feet, and then I'm most likely going to be able to definitely get seven inches worth of width out of it at three quarters of an inch thick. Six boards, great, perfect. I think that'll actually do me for the floor we need over there. And they'll understand why we need it's so long once they see where we're putting it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty nice. We're hoping it's gonna be pretty nice. Probably the next melon video I bring with you, it's probably gonna be giving you a quick peek at how to change the blade just in case. Because I think my blade's getting a little dull. And an oil change. I'm hitting about that 10 hour mark and I think oh, okay. it, I think it said 10 hours. I have to reread the book again. We've only got 10 hours on this? Yeah. Really? We've cut quite a bit of wood in 10 hours too. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. I don't know when it will come to you, but I'll bring it to you. All right. Y'all have a great, wonderful day. Be safe. Can't we say see y'all till next time to hopefully bring y'all some more beauty that I just, oh, lovely. This is gonna be so nice to walk on. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Y'all have a good and safe one. Be careful. Oh, it's gonna be nice.